Hi everyone, my name is Sue and I'm the Mobile Yogi and I'm here with you today to chat a little bit about uh, those folks who are working from home um, and today's new ways it seems as though everyone is working at their desk from home or maybe a makeshift desk um, at home. So in an effort to keep our bodies a little happier and healthier, um, I've got this little 10 minute little chair stretch for us to do together. So like I said, seven to 10 minutes, happy shoulders, happy neck, happy back. Let's give it a shot. Won't you try it with me? Great. So even if you're in your desk chair, roll it back a little bit. Just be mindful if you're on wheels. If you're not on wheels, even better. Just scooch to maybe the middle of the chair so your back is not up against it. And allow your hands to just rest on your lap. Yeah. Feel the shoulders as they pull back and down. The shoulders allow them to now float over the hips. For a moment, I invite you to think of the eyes as the shutters to the world and just allow them to either close or just be heavy. Completely your choice. I invite you to find your breath. So stepping away from the desk, stepping away from your day, just for a brief moment. With each exhale, forgetting about the day that has been. As you exhale, letting go of the day that has yet to be. With each exhale, feel the body as tension begins to release. Surrender to the fact that these seven to ten minutes are yours. And allow the eyes to open. First, we work on the eyes with a little exercise called metroviamum. This is to help strengthen and tone the optic nerve. So just find your gaze forward at first. Maybe it's right at your your screen. Yeah. And then as you inhale, draw the eyes, just the gaze all the way up to the ceiling. Don't move the head, just the eyeballs. Exhale all the way down to the floor. Inhale it up and exhale it down. A few more just like this. Don't move the head, just the eyes for me. Brilliant. A few more. And then the next time the eyes are gazing up towards the ceiling, take that pause and bring the gaze back to forward. Now we're going to go side to side. So as you inhale, take the gaze all the way to the right. Be mindful not to use the head, not to use the neck, not to use the shoulders, just the eyes. Exhale it over to the left. Inhale to the right. Exhale to the left. Keep on going at your own pace, moving as quickly or as slowly as what feels comfortable for your body. Strengthening and toning the optic nerve. And then the next time the gaze comes all the way to the right, pause, and then take the gaze back through center. Nice. Go ahead, let's take the hands, let's rub them together. So we want to create this sense of heat in the palms of the hands. So keep rubbing until you see sparks. Once they get good and hot, go ahead and release. Just take the palms to the eyes. Allow the eyes to receive the heat from your hands. To feel really good, calming, easeful, peaceful. Few breaths here in and out through the nose. And 
And then go ahead and slide your fingertips down and just trace your face with your fingers as you begin to make circles, these little circles and then reverse the direction. And then take your two fingers down to your temples. Nice big circles forward. And then circles backward. Then I want you to slide the fingers down. So yes, right by your cheeks, a little below your cheeks. So feel where your upper jaw and your middle, your lower jaw meet. And you kind of want to put your finger right in the middle there. Press gently. And circles to the front. And circles to the back. So if you're like me and you're working at a computer and you begin to clench your teeth, it's a really nice release. Beautiful. Then continue those fingers to the back of the neck. Give yourself a little self love here. Maybe even in the shoulders. And just let it go. Beautiful. Let's take a nice deep inhale. Chin is forward, parallel to the earth. And exhale. Yes, as you inhale, this time keep the chin all the way up to the sky. If we have neck issues, be mindful. Be conscious of what you're feeling. Only go as far as feels good. Exhale, chin to chest. Again. Only going as far as feeling good. Snakes and breaths in between there. You'll feel the stretch in the back of the neck. Keep drawing those shoulders back and down. Inhale, draws the chin all the way up to the sky. Exhale, draws it all the way down to the nape of the neck. A few more just like this. Listening to your body, please. Want to feel sensation, but no pain. Next time we come to look up, take the gaze back through center. We're going to go right to left. Inhale all the way to the right, just as far as you could go. Don't push it. Exhale, we take it all the way to the left. Inhale all the way to the right. Nice long breaths here, maybe five count breaths. Exhale all the way to the left. Give yourself time to get there and feel the stretch. Inhale all the way to the right. All the way to the left. The next time you come all the way to the right, pause. And then go ahead and take the gaze back through center. Let's take the chin to the chest. Shoulders back and down. Gentle retraction of the shoulder blades here. Begin to take the chin like a pendulum. To the right shoulder, to the left shoulder. Very important here, keep those shoulders steady and still. And keep drawing the chin, tracing that line back and forth. Really nice. Now the next time the chin comes over to the right side, go ahead and take the left ear to the left shoulder. Yes, as you take the left ear to the left shoulder, hold on to that right side of your chair. Pull down just a little bit. Watch my right shoulder, see it drop. That left shoulder is exactly where it was. Maybe you take the hand and you guide it down a little further. Not a variation for me, but it may feel great in your body. Yes. As you release, go ahead, release take the chin back to that right shoulder, hands back to the left. Take the chin over to the left now. Yes, drop that right shoulder to the right ear, left hand to the side of the chair. Gentle snuggle down here. So you want to feel the stretch all in the left side of the neck. 
into some of those muscles over the shoulder. Breathing here. Maybe you take the hand and you give a gentle zhuzh down again. Do what feels good for your body. Everybody's a little bit different. Go ahead and release. Keep the chin back to the left shoulder. Just rock it back and forth a little bit. And then come to that neutral spine. Feeling good already? I know I am. Let's take that right hand. We have choices. We could take it to the side of the chair. I like to take mine to the back of the chair. I'll scoot you over this way. You can see where my hand is right back here. Please don't take hold up here. See, because look what happens to this right shoulder. You want to keep those shoulders nice and level. And you want to keep the spine nice and tall. You want to keep the hips hopefully in a forward facing direction. It's okay if they move a little bit. Inhale, left arm comes up, exhale it out. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, let's begin to twist here. So take that left hand to the outside of the right thigh. Just pause. Inhale, lifts and lengthens the spine. Exhale, go ahead and twist to the right. Take that gaze out over, over, over the right shoulder. Don't worry if your chin and your shoulder aren't in line. Just keep looking. Keep the breath. Keep drawing that belly button in and up on the exhale. Drop that back shoulder if it's glued to your ear. Breathe here. And on your next exhale, keep the body exactly where it is. Just take the gaze up over the left shoulder. And breathe. A nice deep inhale. As you exhale, release your hold from the chair. We get a gentle counter twist of a direction. Come through center. Nice. Left hand now comes behind you or to the side of the chair to your choice. Inhale, right arm up to the sky. Exhale, inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, we begin to twist to the left. Left hand now, right hand outside of the left thigh. Beautiful. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale. Go ahead and twist up over that left shoulder. Belly buttons in and up. Breathe in here. In and out through the nose. Each exhale takes the belly button in and up. When you're ready, on your next exhale, as you exhale, Take the gaze out over that right shoulder. Breathing here. On your next exhale, release the hold. Gentle twist, opposite direction. Nice. Now let's move the spine. So by moving the spine, we really We've been moving the spine, but moving the spine some more, really tapping into the nervous system, truly helps to keep our body happy and healthy. Hands to the knees. We're gonna move into what we call seated cat and cow. Hands to the knees as you inhale, tip the tailbone behind you, drop the belly towards the seat, shoulders back, retraction of the shoulder blades, chin up to the sky. Exhale, hold on to those knees as you hollow out the belly. Protraction of the shoulder blades, chin to chest. Inhale, tip the tailbone up, drop the belly, look up. Exhale, tuck and round. Two more here, inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, we come to a nice flat spine, tall and long from the crown all the way to the seat. So not only does this promote good posture, but because everything is just kind of in line, right? We're also promoting a very healthy digestive system. 
Allow those eyes once again to be shutters to the outside world. Allow them to close. Inhale deep. Exhale. Two more, just like that. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale. One more. Please know that it has been an honor, a pleasure, a pure pleasure privilege to bring this very short, sweet, and beneficial practice to you. I hope at this time your families are happy and healthy. Namaste.